Welcome back to the Double Player Podcast. I'm here with the co-host. Banana. <laughs> and we're recording this on August the 10th. What's well, today? Thursday? Oh, uh, yeah, today's Thursday. I know yeah, that because I get paid. <laughs> that's you, fair. You get paid too, right? I have no fucking clue. You have no. I think they have to mail me a check because, like, for some reason, they can't just do direct deposit. I don't fucking know. So, have you not gotten paid yet for the time you've worked? I'd have to look at my bank, but I'm pretty sure they said the first two they have to mail you the check. So that adds like like, two to three business days. (laughs) I just, it's not a big thing, man. It's money, man. I know. I'm chilling. Nah, I get it. Like outside, out of mind. You know. Yeah, I don't really look at my bank. Especially because I mean, someone either. owes me eight hundred dollars. That's why I kind of was having a little freak out, like to not freak out, but I was kind of like super worried, like a week ago when I couldn't log into my first financial. I'm like, <laughs> "Fuck, man! I put my Amazon Prime on there. I put like some <laughs> other subscriptions. Like, I hope I'm not in fucking debt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that'd be horrible. But no, no, it's good. It's good. I got yeah, a dollar uh, on there. I got a dollar, boys. You got a dollar. Thank yeah, God. So you're not bankrupt. <laughs> yeah. Do you have overdraft turned off? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you better out, bro. <laughs> That's the worst that shit. I just, I've been trying to log into it, but it's just this column. <sighs> I yeah, uh, I could. I could, but it's just like. So surely you have like a security question, or they'll just like ask your last four digits of your social or some shit like that, and then they'll just probably send you an email for a reset. Yeah, sure. It's not a big deal. Dude, uh, I, my card. Oh, uh, you what card? I had my old card got like shut down because I put in the pin wrong at Walmart one one fucking time, Why? and it just completely bricked. Man, fuck bank companies, bro. <laughs> like, um, contact me first. Like, come oh, on, dude. It's the worst too <laughs> when they really call you and it, they're making you kind of worry because they're like, there was an unimportant. You know, we don't know if this was a real transaction or not. And it's like yeah. $16 and 50 cents at Walmart. And it's like, yeah. what the fuck? I was just there a day ago. Exactly. Like, I'm not. Why are you calling me over this when I like might buy something that's like 130 bucks on Amazon? Like, ask me about that. The fuck? Yeah, just just send a text, man. If like I fuck up my pin, don't just instantly shut my card down. Unless oh it's like God. a big purchase. That's something else. But I had to call. I had to like put in my bank routing, all that shit, and then they sent me a new one. So yeah, it's it's like if you're a nobody to the bank, they just don't expect you to spend money. Like, really <laughs> uh, well, there's the, that. Wait, what? Another shitty thing too is like when you get charged, but it's like it's out in Cali, and you're like, wait, what the fuck is this? Did someone steal my money? But it's like, oh no, their corp is out in Cali, and that's what it got charged to. It's yeah, fucking confusing. There, there was that story of a. Uh, fucking shack where he, once he got his first paycheck he tried to fucking <laughs> spend it yeah. like at walmart and they were literally calling him like dude somebody's got your fucking card right now didn't he say he spent like 40 bags at walmart yeah, it's like fifty thousand dollars like, like for tvs and it's a bunch of you know two thousand he was getting shit. paid man people actually stuff people actually care about yeah he's getting paid Good money. Shaq's respectable. I don't really. He's kind of annoying on the basketball scene, but he's a he's a good businessman. I mean, he does fuck tons of ads. He seems like he yeah. puts it away well. You don't like him on the basketball scene? I mean, he's just a fucking old head. <laughs> he is an old head, but the old heads, in my opinion, are like better than the new heads. Better than that John Morant moron fuck. No, I mean like his opinions on basketball. Like, oh, okay. you know, oh, they're not dribbling up to the basket enough. Yeah, because it's not worth as much. Like, yeah, I, I <laughs> they have data now. I don't really look at the plays that much. I just look at the players themselves, you know, like. Well, Shaq you know, was a uh, dumb player, too. Yeah, there's a thing where LeBron said uh, he he's going to play with his son. or That's, like, what he wants to do the most. He wants to play yeah. with his son. So any fucking team that gets his son gets LeBron. You well, know, have you heard what so happened stupid. with his son? No, I actually don't know. Oh, his son went into cardiac arrest like a week or two ago. They don't like know if he'll even play ever again. Oh yeah, dude, that 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 is actually something that will put you out for your whole life. Yeah, I mean, that's that's scary. 
Yeah. Because, I mean, the first thing is like, well, why the fuck did I go into cardiac arrest? I don't know, man. A lot of things can happen if you're an athlete, though, and you're training every single day type shit. You know, oh, yeah. your, your body's very fucking in a good shape. I'm sure his body's in amazing shape, but it's just his heart might not. His heart might have off heartbeat. Anything. No. Yeah, I mean, you even see that in, like, lower levels. Like, I knew a lot of people in high school played sports. I played sports two years in high school. And, like, fuck, senior year, people were just in the shitter, man. They would go to, like, our, like, the athletic department kind of nurse. I don't know what the qualifications are, but they would see her, like, every fucking day because my knee is just broke or some shit. Like, what goes on, man? I don't know, bro. Some injuries just... Some people are just fucking injury prone. Yeah. I think I was the only one that didn't go to her that whole year. Because yeah, you, people were just getting fucked. People like with physical injuries or? Yes. Damn. I mean, like some people literally For couldn't feel baseball, like their though. elbow, uh-uh. their fucking knee. Shit, man. Y'all gotta chill. Their back's always hurting. I think it's just, you know, you get in trouble. So you get like worked harder and then you. You obviously work hard anyway for practice. You just burn your body out. It's fucked. Yeah, in practice or in any kind of training, there's like a huge difference between like and like what you're doing that feels like a good burn, and then what you're doing is like real pain. Mm-hmm. So I don't know, but some people over exaggerate. You know, like if your if your arm is hurting because you're swinging so much, then that's just how shit is. Like you're swinging. Your arm is gonna hurt. Your elbow is probably gonna hurt a lot. Oh, uh, it's throwing. Just get used to it. Oh, throwing. <laughs> yeah, you blow out yeah. your um Were you tendons pitcher? there and shit. I was when I was younger, but since I couldn't play for a while, I could not pitch. My arm would actually break. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I remember playing backyard baseball, and uh, I guess I was okay at pitching. I, I don't. I didn't really see anything wrong with it. Just throwing yeah. the ball. <laughs> yeah, it gets real complicated. That's why people tend to blow their arms out. But you know, thinking yeah, about like nice. that, the rules of baseball. I, I guess it is a pretty competitive sport. You know, because you do have to get really good at that shit. Especially oh yeah, and you play a um, hundred sixty-two regular season games. No one really plays that anymore. But you have, you have to play card, postseason. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Even for, like, pitching, you know, pitchers don't run. They don't really do anything. But could you imagine throwing, like, 80 pitches as hard as you fucking can oh, yeah. and having, like, shit that cardio? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, sure, you get I some bigger guys up there. Enough. But, yeah. I think in Little League, when I would pitch, you could throw, like, 60 in one division and then, like, 70 in another. So, I mean, I was doing that, but I was young. Your body really doesn't feel it at that age. That and I'm throwing like 50 miles an hour. Like, come on. <laughs> I, 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 I wish I could go back to how I felt when I was a kid. You know, like <laughs> whenever I whenever I would play sports and shit, like just it'd be fucking nothing. I could I could be in a boxing fight with my best friend, like period, <laughs> and and feel fucking nothing and just keep going because I want to win so bad. Now I get fucking seven hours of sleep and I'm like, fuck, my back hurts <laughs> like a bitch. <laughs> and like, I, I'm not ready to get up. I don't know. I think my body's all right these days, but I really wish I didn't fucking lose like all my cardiovascular endurance over those two years. It's so shit. It's because I think I think I literally for a while didn't know how to breathe right because it just like disappeared. It's so fucking weird. Yeah, man. In internal injuries and anything that happens, like in your body, you know that that shit is absolutely career ending. Like I, like I said, if you have an offbeat heart heartbeat, you you can't play at all. Yeah, you, if you need you like a pacemaker. A, yeah, you you pose a huge risk. There's a lot of things too, like you know, if people have like a fucked up organ, that might prevent them from playing. And unfortunately, you have a fucked up disease. Yeah. Stuff all holds you back. I mean, like, um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of somebody. There was this pitcher back in the day who had, like, cancer in his arm, his pitching arm, and they had to, like, take out his whole ass deltoid. 
But oh yeah, he can't play. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, he he actually came back and then he completely like ruined his arm again. It yeah, I was pretty much say. broke. <laughs> How do you throw his name? with like no fucking like your your rear deltoid right is like kind of it's right below your shoulder, but it it's kind of like your shoulder. Yeah, yeah, that, I think that's that's right. Um, yeah, deltoid's pretty damn important. 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 <laughs> yeah, it was Dave Trevecki. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he got his whole arm amputated too after because the cancer had spread Dave so Trevecki? much. Let me see this thing. Mm -hmm. So he got cancer, had to stop, and then he returned in '89 and won his first game of the season. And in his second start, he broke his throwing arm. And like, that's crazy to break your whole arm throwing a pitch. Like, fuck. <laughs> And, that is he, actually and then he, crazy. yeah, and then he retired two years later um, after his left arm was amputated, which was his throwing arm. Oh, I see it. Yeah, yeah you can amputated. see it. They had cameras there. He, he just amputated. falls over, which is insane. Like, watch the pitch. He's literally throwing, and then he just goes down. Like, that's so weird to break your arm like that. That fucking hurt. You ever injure yourself pitching? I mean, shit. This guy no. was committed to the fucking sport, though. No, the most I got was, like, shoulder pain sometimes because I wasn't throwing right. <laughs> ah, his arm is <laughs> yeah. It's insane. He really he really wanted it, but sometimes you just can't. Oh, my God. <laughs> he really did just fucking tumble, bro. Yes. Well, have you ever been in, like, that much pain ever, even in your upper body? Like, yeah, you're going to fucking fall. I don't it just happened. It's just like a natural reaction. I think the most pain I've had from injury was I was at the soccer field once because my siblings played soccer, so sometimes I'd have to be over there. We were fucking around this goal, and I was younger, probably like 10, 12, somewhere around there, and, and this fucking, like, I was playing goalie, and this probably high school kid just belts a ball into the goal. And I had my hands out, but, like, completely tense, so when the ball hit my hands, they just fucking pushed those suckers back. <laughs> I oh. felt stunned. <laughs> oh, like it? They feel weak and like almost numb. It's so weird, man. Yeah, that. Oh my god, that the hands thing scares me a lot. When about sports, you know, I, I would hate to break my fucking hand. That <laughs> that would like break your wrist, what you described. Like, oh, yeah, I had like a mild lucky. sprain and my yeah, thumb, you're a lucky. bone in my thumb chipped. I forget what it was. Oh shit! So it was like a, a fracture, and. A pretty big sprain, I guess it hurt. For a while, like probably a month, I couldn't really like lift heavy things because my wrist just was like so fucked. So that was that was annoying. <laughs> yeah. That's really the only injury I've, I've ever had. had any injury, man. Like I really have never been to the doctor over a broken bone. Uh it's good. Or anything. Yeah. I think I was just actually pretty good at, like, saving myself when I was small. Because I am a fucking small, nimble person, bro, so. <laughs> 90 quick, pound. Quick to know. catch myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going down you... every day. I can't fucking gain I'm weight. I'm going down every day. It's because you don't eat, man. All right. I eat. I, no, I, I you literally don't. buy What'd you eat this morning? Gatorade powder. In What'd you eat? Oh, Motherfucker, okay, Gatorade okay. powder is eating? Yeah, but it's got sugar in it. That shit's got to make you fatter. That's how it works. That's not how it works. What'd you that eat this morning? It, it is 12 p.m. What'd you eat? Dude, I've eaten nothing. Exactly. Because we, Half I, your I fucking got day up, is over. Got a shower, and we're doing this podcast. You know what I ate? I ate peanut butter toast. Good for you. It's better than nothing, man. You oh, gotta, man. you have to it's eat, man. You. Look, here, I'll eat this beef jerky right now if you're so fucking mad at me. I used to cope too, bro. I used to cope all the time. But what? you just have to fucking eat. Beef all right, jerky. now beef I'm, a, I'm like 180 pounds. I think I got fatter. <laughs> but, fuck. You've been 180. No way. <laughs> yeah, but for the longest time, months. I was like 160. <laughs> Not even 20 like, pounds is crazy. Bro, it was the fucking Oreos, the hot dogs. <laughs> Definitely the hot dogs. But the hot dogs were so good that night. I just couldn't get them down because I, I ate them so much. <laughs> All them Sour Patch Kids. See, that's what that's when you say, oh, I eat a lot. You just eat shit. <laughs> nah, I don't eat shit. 
Gotta eat the I chicken. Eat I eat good. I, I I really do go go out of my way to try to eat really good. Sure, man. I just drink Gatorade though. That's like the only bad part, I guess. I don't <laughs> give a fuck. Drink Gatorade. <laughs> nah, because my sport. Nah, my wrestling coach literally said, "Listen, I've never believed in losing weight or cutting weight. That shit is terrible, and I always believe in trying to gain weight." And he was like, you know, I fucking went like four days at a com- competition drinking nothing but Gatorade, and I weighed two pounds less by the end. <laughs> well, yeah, realistically, you only lose weight to look good. It doesn't, like, benefit you to be 5% body fat over, like, 10. Yeah. You know, as long I as you're... want to be like that, yeah. Yeah, as long as you're building muscle and you're improving all the other health aspects for cardiovascular and whatnot... You know, that was my phone. I apologize. Yeah, don't don't ever listen to bodybuilders for fucking science on this shit. Fuck no. They're gonna tell you some dumbass shit. One of the worst things I ever heard was um, I can't remember who said this. I think it was I think it was Greg Doucette. If you know who that is, do you know who that is, Sam? I don't know who Greg Doucette is. Maybe I've seen him. Is he the really short one? He's really short, really muscular. He calls himself Coach Greg. I might have actually seen him. He's like roided up, right? Yeah, he's roided up. But uh, I can't remember exactly what he said. Exactly. Yeah, I've seen, he's got the goofy voice. Yeah, I've seen this guy. <laughs> oh yeah, he it. said you. You said he said. Realistically. Nobody can have abs unless you're like fucking three percent body fat, five percent body fat, and I'm like, what the fuck? That is. Absolutely Does he mean though, sure. like abs that are always there? Because if you flex your abs, sure, but you only flex your abs for the pick. To get like actual like washboard beach abs where they're always you out, to, it like, probably is like really that. train that shit. Yeah, because you. Okay, so like if you look at videos of like any like martial arts training. Every motherfucker in that room has abs. They have real abs that they worked for. Like it's not. It's not. They're just they're, they're low also body low fat. body fat too, though. It's no, a combination. It's a combination. If you look at like Joe, fucker, I dude. could have abs if I flexed hard enough when I was thinner. Like <sighs> there's. It depends how low. Yeah, but no. When, you when you're when you're constantly moving like that and and moving your lower body, you're you are getting abs like abs are doing like any fucking exercise in my opinion like you could be standing up doing um what do they call like military presses that's getting abs because you're having to stable your your fucking core and your lower back that yeah that's something you could do i don't really like I need a new I, ab workout. I fucking hate abs so much. Yeah. Every time I go in the gym, I always am like, dude, I guess I should do abs, but I I just, I'll stall. I don't <laughs> want to do them. Do you know the machine where you sit down and you have like the the bar in front of you to push and you have like the two handles sticking off and you, you uh, like tricep, push forward? Tricep, uh, no, it's not triceps. Down? It's for your abs. Um, You just put your oh. back straight laying back and you just basically fold at the the hip oh is it yeah i know what you're talking about yeah i hate that but it's like the only ab machine at the y but I, it's hard for me to breathe when i do that so i don't know what that's about i don't i don't do that machine because it doesn't feel like shit to me i don't know what it is but like i can put that shit on 150 pounds yeah it's it's i can probably wrap it uh six like i don't want to Sound like an asshole like douchebag, <laughs> but like I can rep it a bunch. It's just not that hard. I feel like the real way to get abs is to actually do sit ups that are going against gravity and you're fucking lifting your own body weight up. Like that shit's actually hard. So that's what I try to do every time. I don't do that machine. You do just the pull or the yeah, pull sit ups? Like- Sit-ups, fuck. Had me confused. <laughs> You're not a real gym goer. <laughs> yeah, I need to do the sit-ups. Do you do the sit-ups, though, off, like, a platform or just on the floor? Uh, I do them on a platform, like, at a decline. So yeah. They can hold my legs. It's really nice to do that. Also, you can, like, hold a plate, too. It makes it harder. Yeah, I yeah. I always believe, like, if you're going to add weight, you need to, you need to either start 
where you're comfortable and then work up or start at the heaviest you can and that you know you can absolutely handle and then work down. And for like abs, right? Something that is just a muscle to look cool. I don't really give a fuck about actually having abs. Like it's not going to be a real competitive thing. No. It can it can tank some hits. Or I guess you don't punch in wrestling though. I guess Sorry, abs I was are thinking WWE. Useful. No, I, I guess abs would be useful to have in wrestling. It might, it would be very helpful to have some. You can't throw punches in wrestling, can you? No, <laughs> I didn't think so. But maybe you can do some shit that people think is illegal. That's a huge part about wrestling. Is like, um, you know, a lot of people think you can't headlock or can't put your hands on their face. No, you can do all that shit. It's legal. Yeah, even when you wrestle the girls. Bitch, I uh. This year, we are going to be, like, split up, like, completely. Like, the girls are going to go to their own competitions, and the boys are going to go to their own thing. So, I don't think I'm going to be wrestling any fucking chick. Oh, I thought they didn't have, they only had girls, though. Bro, yeah, I mean, I have to practice wrestling a girl once. But there, there's three other dudes there now, so. It, I mean, nice. it's chill. Nice. I don't yeah. think we had Dude. wrestling at my school at all. I think you definitely do. No, I don't think we did. I never heard about it. Maybe some underground shit in the trailer park, but it's it's a very unpopular sport, dude. A lot of a lot of kids just don't want to be like. It just I think the big unappealing part about wrestling is the outfit and the headgear. It looks fucking goofy as shit. Uh, for me, it'd be fucking grappling motherfuckers who stink. Oh yeah, <laughs> that that's gonna suck. Sweaty too. ass, I didn't, stinky. I didn't really think about that. But I guess the way I got into wrestling is I thought about it like this. Like, if I'm going to do a sport, I'm not going to do football. <laughs> okay. Like, why the fuck? I'm not going to do football. <laughs> Rip your body. <laughs> uh, basketball is fun, but it's not competitive, in my opinion. Like, it is not. It's only competitive unless there's a championship on the table. Yeah, no. Basketball, you know. for me, has always been a fuck-around sport because, one, I'm not basketball height, and, two, I'm not that athletic i could dunk if i got back into it again because i used to be able to but fuck (laughs) i can't like (laughs) dunk that well i fucked that shit up yeah i just don't basketball wasn't really for me i wanted to run track last year but now that i think of it fuck track (laughs) why the fuck i always wanted to run track over like cross country yeah, no, track is way better than cross country. Because I think, like, actually racing, that's fun. But yep. the, the training for that is it's brutal. just awful. Yeah, yeah it's it's actually brutal. No, it's not just brutal. It's actually just awful. <laughs> just running. That's yeah. all you do. You I think run, I could only do run. track, though. I don't think I could do where you jump over the things. I don't know. I think I'd probably do, like, a 400 to, like, 800. That'd be my bread and butter. Cause I can really like push, even though I can't fucking like breathe anymore. Like I'm. I know. Good. Yeah, I I feel like I can push too. When you're at the very end, you know, and you see it, you're like, gotta get there. I, I'm a pretty competitive person when I'm put in a kind of scenario like I really hate losing. I think that's what the definition of competitive is, right? Like if like you can be respectful sportsmanship wise, but in your head, like. I, like when we were playing uh, air hockey at Lee's basement, <laughs> or or fucking we called it ghetto air hockey. Yeah, because it, it was. Yeah, it was pretty funny though. But like, I actually got pissed when I lost against Pierce. <laughs> like, I actually got kind of mad. Like, I was, I'm, I'm able to separate it these days. I used to not, but I mean, I didn't get mad at him. I wasn't showing. No, I, was I know mad, what you like, mean. I, I was like, "Fuck, man!" I've been able to right push there. that out of my head, and I was just like, "There's no point to even trying anymore." <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, ah, oh, you need help. <laughs> nah, uh, but... I've gotten better at. You just have to think like, when do you want to be competitive? And air hockey, it doesn't fucking matter to me. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how I think. I think like if I'm if I'm playing it, like I. I gotta show like I'm good. Well, yeah, you, you want to win. Gotta beat you. That's the point. To I play. gotta beat you. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta beat you. But in wrestling, it's just you, like, and it's all you. It's you, even when you're not in the training room, because you have to have a good diet. You have to be 
uh, what's the word, conditioning properly. And you have to condition every single day. What I meant by, like, wrestling training kind of sucks earlier. Like, I'm doing, like, run. I'm trying to run every single day on top of doing these bear crawls every day. And that's just annoying. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know what a bear crawl is. I'm sure you do. I do, yeah. Yeah, I mean, when you're putting in that much effort, obviously, it's competitive. You really want to fucking win. But, like, what do you put into air hockey to want to win so much? <laughs> it's just a mental thought, dude. It's not It's not anything, like, it, there's nothing on a table. But it's just, like, it's me against my friend. And he mm. thinks I'm better than me. <laughs> I'm about to prove him wrong. No, it's like that, you know? That's how I think. You're goofy. I don't wonder you always sweat and CS so hard. Yeah, because I'm a competitive person. I just, when I'm in the mood, like, and I'm actually, like, going against someone that's, like, a real opponent, I'm like, you know, I gotta beat you. Can't yeah, just accept I gave up on sweating. Me and Pierce, when we were trying to um, get to, we were trying to grind that one time. I was competitive then. I mean, we got to, like, gold <sighs> two. Okay, CS goes a bad comparison. That game's just fucking easy. That night when we were, when I was actually doing good on Dust 2, I was just tapping heads. This shit was crazy. <laughs> yeah, but it's because you want to be, you, you want to be on the top of the board. You want to win. But, like, half the time, I'm fucking playing PVZ Heroes. I ain't even going to lie. <laughs> I ain't even try. Actually, queue with us and then be like, "Oh, this game's in the dumps." I'm playing <laughs> BBC here. It's like, what the fuck? I just, uh, I don't really try. If, if we're playing with like Zayden or Lee, it doesn't matter. See here, so no, see you choose to be competitive. No, 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 no. I try to make people's days worse on PVZ Heroes. <laughs> I try to play the most annoying deck that might win every other time, but when it wins, they're fucked. See, I don't. I got to get into this game. I'm gonna download it right now. PVC Heroes on my phone. Wait, so Evan did actually dump hey, gas in the gas Look station on the ground. PVC Heroes on the App Store. Oh, you're not he gonna really want to play it. Cause I side loaded no, I'm, I'm, a ton of things, so like my game is fine. Yours, you're gonna have to start from the beginning. You can't side load on Apple. You're fucked. Nah, you gotta start somewhere. You're not gonna like it because you won't have the good plants or the good zombies. Yes, sir. Fuck that Never grinding. Day, bro. Yeah, and they don't even pay attention to it anymore. Have you ever played Hearthstone? That's another yes, game. Yes, I played right. Hearthstone when I was young. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, uh, you're a Hearthstone. I was really you into like Yu-Gi-Oh, Hearthstone. Um, I wasn't into Magic. That always was above my pay grade. Dude, Magic. See, like, Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever, right? Magic looks actually like some nerd shit. I, yeah. I wouldn't want to get into Magic. Well, like Yu-Gi-Oh, I could understand people being into that. It does kind of look fun. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's fun anymore, but you know, I watched the anime growing up, so that's kind of why I was into it. Uh, was it a bit? Was it good? Uh, Duel Monsters is really cool. Uh, my parents, they uh, they never let us have that shit because I don't know. I guess it's like <coughs> summoning, and that's related to the devil. I don't fucking know, man. But, oh yeah, Catholicism. Yeah, really so we would have to draw our own cards. So we would watch the show, and if a new card came on, we'd take a piece of paper that we had cut up into like squares, and we would write the ability and the attack and defense on there in the name, on just white paste pieces of paper, and that and that's how we would play. That is a little weird. Yeah, we didn't draw it because me and my brother could not fucking draw worth the shit. I mean. So you played Yu-Gi-Oh, played Hearthstone. Hearthstone's purely digital. That's not or yeah, that's fucking... not physical at all, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. You might be able to get. I'm assuming there's cards for it, but I don't Hearthstone. think there's a competitive scene for Hearthstone. I would never without. play that. Yeah, fuck it. It got re it. It's pretty pay to win too now. It's pretty fucked. Uh, that's I don't play it at all anymore. I'll never go back. Every every free to play card game is usually pay to win. That's just how it goes. Cause I gotta make money, you know. Yeah. I just wish it wasn't so bad, you know. Cause what they'll do is they'll release good cards and then they'll release better cards and then they just keep power scaling and you know it's kind of stupid. Could at least make 
other cards that are similarly balanced, but fuck it. Yeah, they're easier to get. <laughs> uh, I heard that game's got a lot of common decks. I guess you can use, but I don't. Even... I don't think it's. I've never like played that it. anymore. <laughs> there wasn't like now. that for a while. Yeah. Um. Fucking hell. That sucks. So um, we had some gym talk. You know, we never we never talked about. Um, our uh-huh. goofy gym sightings, though. Yeah, dude. I mean, we could talk about a few goofy ass sightings. Like, okay, so you had a story, so go ahead and yeah. Go ahead and tell so us. there's this guy, and he's, I can't really tell. He's really there's not a lot of body fat, so it's hard to tell if he's really strong or not. But he's he's kind of buff, but like I can see his ribs. So it's like I don't know. Does the YMCA like that? Is a, does that have like a rehab center too? No, but there is a lot of old people in there. Okay, but yeah, I can see this guy's ribs, but he has pretty big arms. He's got a big chest, so it's it's kind of weird to pick up. But I can't tell if what he's doing is making him strong or not because he'll come in right, and let's say he does leg curls, right? He'll put. He'll put a good amount of weight on it, but it's like what I do. And I'm like, okay. And then he'll do maybe half reps, maybe like a quarter rep almost. Just really <laughs> fucking fast. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like he'll do. Oh, so. He'll do like. Some he, real goofy. Yes. He'll do like <laughs> 20 reps of like a half, maybe quarter rep. And it's like, oh, um, I don't know if that's hard or not, but he's also kind of big. So it's like. I don't know and then he'll get on like a leg press and he'll be doing those like tiny presses you know where your legs are pretty much already out so far and it's like, so what the fuck? oh yeah yeah like anybody can put on like 1300 pounds yes. and do like but they aren't they aren't presses. getting in there with their knees almost to their fucking head they're getting in there with their knees slightly fucking bent like, what the yeah. fuck are y'all doing yeah, That's not I, real like presses. Yeah. yeah, but he's he's kind of big, and it's confusing me. But I've never seen him do any free weights. He always does machines. I, I don't know, man. I, I'm really man. confused at what he does. Maybe he's just figuring it out. You know. But he's already he's... big, and I'm not saying fat. He's muscular, but I can also see his ribs. <laughs> it's weird, man. That's rough. And then I'll see other people do it, and I'm like, well, they're probably looking at him. And then I do it, and sometimes he stares at me, and I'm confused, uh, man. Uh, I'm kind of scared. Man, just do your own thing. <laughs> the gym you go to sounds like actually kind of horrible. <laughs> like, no, brother, it is not horrible when I send you a picture and there's literally nobody in the weight room. That okay, shit is chill okay. as fuck. <laughs> but, like, with the machines... That's gotta be weird, though. Like, are there people like that all the time? Uh, so far it's just this guy. Everyone else is pretty chill. There's just like, one ev- giant dude. He's probably like six four. He's black, muscular. I mean, that man. I go in the weight room, and the fucking like delt machine, or, like rear fly machine, is at like one fifty. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's insane. Let me put that at fifty real quick. <laughs> Ah, no <laughs> way you can't do more no, than i do it like i do it usually but i don't i don't do i do a lot of reps over like doing like five so i'll do like 70 and i'll do like 10 reps probably like three or four times and i might so do you 90. believe in more reps over intensity yeah yeah believe in the active repeating the same motion over and over again is more likely to grow your muscles than well, I don't, pushing down. I think it, it grows like better stamina too. I'm not just looking for giant muscles. If you want giant muscles, yeah, heavier is probably the way to go. But, you know, it, it helps out with cardio and whatnot. Like, since I'm doing wrestling, I think the best thing that I can do is absolutely try to go super heavy. Like, I, I have to because I, I got to lift heavy ass people. So yeah. it's just... How it is. But like my day to day, you know, I want to have the energy. So if I do 20 reps or let's say 10 reps in four sets, I'm getting out of breath doing that. So it's good for just everyday use. You know, I guess on the pec fly machine, I would probably pick like 120 and I would try to do that 
like four times at least, you know. Uh, see, four times is just whack to me. I don't, I don't do stuff on that on way. that machine though. I would absolutely do a superset. Um, mm. and I don't know if you do those ever, but those are really fucking great to do. Like I love doing those. I had a guy explain it to me. Yeah, they're great to do. Uh, if the audiences know you fucking. You pick a weight, start at the top, keep going down. The more tired you get, until you get to the bottom. And it's really, it's really easy. Yeah, uh, I do. more work up, not down. So it's not really something I work on. You work up. Yeah, I usually start light, what get do you, loose. What do you work up on? Everything. Everything. Yeah. I mean, some things I do specifically do a superset on is then other things I will work up on. Like if I'm putting the weight belt on my on myself and trying to do a, a pull up, like just straight up pull up with my back, I'm I'm working up on that, you know, cuz I can't start at 30 pounds. No way. I don't know. I just always like making sure that my body's good for it before I go up, you know. I don't want to start at 150 and then be like, fuck, my shoulder hurts now. But if I do like yeah. 90, well, my shoulder's good. If I do 135, my shoulder's still good, you know. Well, like, if you think of bench, like, I, I don't start at the highest, you know. No one does. Like, you start low yeah. and then you work up. Yeah. I guess it should depend, but. It just depends on. I think it's like a push pull thing, though. Yeah. What was your? You got any other? What was your goofy gym goer? You didn't tell me. I do. Okay. So I. I mean, I. I think I have a few. <laughs> oh God. In my mind. But I can tell you about this one. Uh, that's new. He's like a new dude. I've never seen him before. Okay. So we like have to cut him ago. some slack. He's new. Cut him some slack, I guess. But he comes in. Uh, he's clearly a pool enjoyer. Now, if you're a public pool enjoyer at one of these places, you know, no hate to you, I guess. But Yeah, the pool is really good for you. I want to start, because we have a pool at the Y, too, and I want to swim. Like, It's really yeah. good for you. But to me, I'm fucking spoiled. My my grandma has a pool, so anytime I want to swim, I'm, I'm not I'm not going to a public pool. I used you know, to have I, a pool growing up. Her, her pool's fucking heated. In ground, oh, ain't no way. Damn, he didn't. Oh, that's a that's a dream. It's got for me. shallow in. Yeah, that's and a dream. For me, man. Yeah, it's a it's a really good pool. But this guy, I guess he just he wants to go to the pool, whatever, and fucking. But some days he comes to work out, you know, and it's just, you know, I I feel like I'm a really judgmental person for judging this guy so hard, but he just comes in like holding three novels in his hand. Like he will literally be holding like three novels. What? He'll, uh, like, yes, like books. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. And he's got like a mustache, like a full mustache, like full. Okay. Okay. Like, it's, it's good, but he ain't got, he's, he's all shaved, like clean shave all over. He's just got the stash. And, and he goes to the locker room, whatever. I don't pay that much attention to him. I don't know if he goes to the locker room every time. But but I know he likes to start, like, doing the stretches, obviously. Yeah. And his stretches are just a little goofy, bro. He, he's, like, the type to – he'll stand up and then um he'll put his hands as high in the air as he can and then, like, bend all the way down, touch his toes, come back up real quick. Oh, he's like Zayden. Yeah. Zayden's yeah. flexible as fuck too and does shit like that i'm like oh my hamstrings but it's just like i'm not making fun of bro but like he'll get on the bike and then he'll do it for like five minutes <laughs> and then it'll be it'll get off and it'll be what? like reading his book right? on the bike yeah it'll okay. be reading that's his book. chill i respect that and when he he usually goes on machines like i've never seen him over by the free weights never seen him over by the squad what's the right? weirdest thing you've seen him do while reading uh he was on the treadmill like running <laughs> and reading i was oh, like that's a little i saw someone game. on the treadmill playing solitaire because they you could play games on it, and he was like oh, running he was not walking awesome. he was fucking running i was like holy You're, shit the why has treadmills with games on it? yeah like mini games i got a I'm moving to Lexington. <laughs> That's awesome. It was hilarious though, and he was he was just like flipping cards too, while probably at a like a decently high intensity jog. That's 
Yeah, no, but this guy was just holding his fucking book open, jogging, and all. <laughs> like he wasn't running; he was just jogging. I was like, <laughs> "What? Why? Like, don't you need digital yeah. books exist now? You don't need to do this anymore." What were you saying? D- don't you like need your arms to run too? It feels way better. Yeah, I don't. You're know holding a you book. Like, on the yeah. bike, I get it, but I don't know about the treadmill. And, like, the sweat getting on the pages. Uh, but there was one time, though, where I did walk over to the bicep curl machine. And uh, it was right after he did it. And it was on, like, literally 30 pounds. So, hey, man. He's got some no, work to no, do. No, I'm not making hate, fun of don't him. Don't hate. But Everyone starts some somewhere, all right? Now, bringing books Everyone into the gym, eh, somewhere. you know, for the bike only, in my opinion. What if he's listening right now? I don't, I don't even do the bicep curl machine. I don't... Why not just use the free weights? It's so easier. Um, Free weights are just a lot harder, man. You you lose more energy quicker the more That's you good. do. You know, you're you're good. working your forearms so much. Which is how hey, people man. actually get huge arms. If you want huge arms, you should only stick to dips for your triceps and then, like, bicep curls. Ooh, I've been like, training the, get the you tricep. big arms. You know, like the tricep yeah, extension? Your... I'm preparing yeah. for dips, bro. Yeah, train your triceps. So you got to. I've been putting like 100 You got to train your that. shoulders, too. And you got to train your forearms. Yeah. Do those uh, pull downs. Get them shoulders. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, think that... I saw a whole family of people once come in like a couple weeks ago. And uh, it was just very awkward the whole time because it was four people, a mom, a dad, and then two daughters. And one daughter was fucking good. She was good. I guess she is, like, uh, good at sports. But she was doing legs, and she was actually moving real weight. Not on squats, but, like, you know, like, leg presses where you're actually laying down on the ground? Yeah. Yeah. And you're, yeah, mm-hmm. like what you said that guy was doing. Yeah. Like three inch leg presses. <laughs> um, but there was also like. Three inches this, might be generous. I guess it was her sister or something. I don't know who the fuck it was, but it was a skinny girl right next to her and she couldn't really, I guess she, she must have been new, you know. Yeah. And, but she was just staring at me like the whole time. Oh. I, I, that day. No, no, no. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not trying to say like that. Like it was just <laughs> fucking awkward because I was really trying to work out. I remember, uh, I think that was an intense day. Yeah. I hate when people stare at me in the gym. Like, brother, yeah. look at the ceiling. All right. When you're, when you're trying to, <laughs> yeah. When you're trying to like really work out and you know you're breaking a sweat and your face is red, like there are some people that are looking at you because they're like, wow, he's, he's really doing it. But it's like, don't look at me. Oh. I had this one motherfucker when I was trying to do squats of all things. <laughs> just kind of staring at me i'm like dude i really can't do these when you're just staring at me because it's I'm awkward so, i'm so not i'm not confident at all with squats like I, I i'm shit like i can't do squats yeah uh they're uncomfortable I've got chicken legs bro they're uncomfortable but it's just also like realistically yeah i can't move that much weight dude like i just i'm trying to work up to a plate on squats and I, I guess I'm almost there, but... Wait, a plate? Yeah. Damn, you need help. <laughs> That's what I mean. Fuck. Bro was really staring at me with, like, 25 pounds on both sides. I'm like, please don't. Please don't. Damn, yeah. <laughs> I don't... I feel like you work legs enough to be able to get a plate these days. It's weird. Maybe you need to stretch yeah, your legs I can, more. I think I... When I go today, I think... No, nah, I should really start chess because I haven't been in like two days, so I should really start do it chess. All. Be like me. Yeah. All right, I got one more gym story, and then we can like pivot into some other shit. But uh, yeah. So yeah. I was wearing the fanatic hat, <laughs> <laughs> and this old man, this old man comes up to me. He's probably eighty years old, minimum. <laughs> Yeah. And so I'm leaving, and he stops me, and he's like, "Hey, what's that hat? It looks cool." And I'm and I'm like, "Oh fuck, I'm not about to explain CS:GO <laughs> the pro scene to this guy." So I fucking lie. I just lie right to his fucking face. I go, "Oh yeah, it's a it's a minor league baseball team." And he's like, "Oh really? Well, wh- where do they play?" And I go, "Um, you know, up in Wisconsin." <laughs> I 
and he, man, and he's like, he was oh, so where'd really... you get it? And I was like, oh, just online. He was like, oh, okay. And then he just walked off. <laughs> <laughs> I was bad. I didn't oh. think of a better lie. Like, no, nah, this is my water polo team from high school. Because he could look that up. He could look up minor league baseball teams in Wisconsin. And I, just I don't can't think believe. A lie. Nah, he, that's just really unlucky. <laughs> that's really unlucky. Was he? He's an old guy. He said old. Yes. Yeah, so, he. Bro, old I'm people not always gonna... be trying to make conversation. Exactly. And it's like, and he was really <laughs> nice. But like, I'm not trying to explain CS:GO. Do they do like what? What do they do? They play video games <laughs> professionally. Dude, yeah, that that really. Sucks. Like, would it's you like, tell him the that's truth? Like when your or family you ask you, like. How how's school going? It's like, uh, like what are your hobbies? <laughs> like, uh, I'm not telling you that I literally play. I like go to work and then play CS:GO when I get home, or Risk of Rain. Too. Exactly. Same. Like, what the fuck? Exactly. Yeah, I go outside. You know, I, I just like to walk my dog a lot. <laughs> but like, speaking of old people, I guess you want to pivot. We can talk about. Me being a server, dude, because oh, you got... I'm going to have to deal with a lot of old people. You, you do? Know, I work at Cracker Barrel. For anyone who don't know, don't ever come to my work, but I work at Cracker <laughs> Barrel. And Cracker Barrel's so good, I'm, though. I'm a... Yeah, it is. I and mean, I'm a server now when I was a dishwasher man before. Dishwasher king, sorry. Dishwasher king. And, you, you know, I had to get training there's this regular that comes to Cracker Barrel a lot, and his name's Danny, and he's just this really fucking old dude who tips really well. But he just likes to make you laugh, I guess, or, like, really try. You have to you have to laugh when you're on him. You have to. His thing is that he'll give you a pin every time you talk to him, and he just fucking winks at you super often. <laughs> like, he'll, he'll say uh, something like, uh, you know, don't, you know, she'll... He'll be like pointing at another server, and she'll be, he'll be like, "She'll run you out of the building if you're not careful." Yeah. And then wink, like super, like yeah. hard wink, like. Or like, like, they'll say something really awkward. Where he's like, "Yeah, I don't think I can pay my bill today. You know, I gotta pay taxes." And he like yeah. gives you a wink, and you're like, "Okay, man." <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, be fucking weird. Great A comedy, yeah. you know? It's like, what, dude? It's it's so. I'm kind of dreading because uh, today I, I'm gonna have to actually start serving like real, real shit. <laughs> and, uh, gonna gonna have to talk to a fuck ton of old people. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm glad I just but, cook in the basement. I don't gotta worry about anything. Yeah, and like yesterday or not yesterday, the day before, when I was doing like real server training, there was a there was a family that we had to serve and they were just like a weird family of people. And they, you know, like, you know, how like some country family might, might order some food kind of weird and shit. Like I want a baked potato, but I want nothing on it. Oh yeah. Don't, don't, don't put anything on it. I want a plane. Like they were just ordering, like there, were, there, were, somebody said like, I want the grilled catfish, but don't put any seasoning on it. And I'm just like, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure, and, man. Uh, it was just a family of a bunch of skinny people, and the dad looked like a... He looked like... Let's, let's be honest. He looked like a bitch, bro. And But his son... I guess that must have been his son. He was massive. <laughs> he was actually massive, dude. He must have weighed 300 pounds. I'm not being mean. He was big. Like, not fat. He was big as, as all get. <laughs> I'll get. <laughs> hmm. No, seriously. I mean, that's that's the Cracker Barrel audience, you know, them Southern Americans. I just, I just hate dealing with people, and I'm gonna hate. Why the fuck with are you people. a server, man? Because it makes better. Money. <laughs> I don't give a. Fuck get in the about kitchen, bro. People. Get in the kitchen. It's them. so easy. I, I would get in the kitchen, but I don't think they allow it. Also, like. It's Cracker Barrel cooking is kind of gay. Do you see what went on back there? You'd be like, "What the? Fuck? Oh, that's what uh, the fried okra comes why from." Why though? <laughs> no, I've I've cooked in a restaurant before. 
I've c- yeah, I cook now. I understand how it works. No, but like you cooked in the local restaurant, right? Yeah. So did they buy like frozen okra and like a bunch of frozen stuff and just um usually like frozen mini corn dogs, frozen tater tots, frozen french fries, frozen mushroom fried mushrooms. We didn't have fried okra, but yeah. I mean, can't just make that shit. Fuck that. We don't got time I know for that. I know you can't. I know you can't. No, you can't just make that shit. You gotta have all the sides on the line ready. But like, I'm talking about the main courses and everything. Like the, mm. you know, the chicken, the stuff that gets thrown in the fryers. It's just everything in the fryers. Not that good. And much, the meatloaf yeah, is like, uh, nah. I don't, I don't really sweat it, man. I mean, you know, motherfucker, so I, I drop shit it. and just pick it up and put it back on the plate. You know, sometimes you don't got time for that. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're foul. <laughs> I'm <kidding>. foul. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, I drop dishes on the ground all the time, put them on the shelf. I don't give a fuck. Exactly. I'm helping you one out. One time, this one motherfucker actually looked at me, right? And he was like, oh, really? You're really going to do that? I'm like, it's really not a big deal, man. <laughs> he was like, no, it is. Take it back. And I was like, "What the fuck? No, you can take it back, bro. Oh, bro, I'm not taking that. Just a regular Joe, not even like a manager. Yeah, regular Joe. Fuck that and guy. I was like, "Fuck yeah." I'm getting like, paid ten an hour, you're bro. You're an old person at a job. Like, who the fuck you think you are coming up to someone who's younger and thinking you're like, just because you have more experience than me? Like, I don't give a fuck, bro. Uh, I guess it depends if they've been there longer. You know, I'll take that. I think. If this you're bro, there longer, this bro's I'll definitely leave. been there for a long time. It's just like I didn't give. He's he's not even a dishwasher, bro. Yeah, you know? I'm be real. You just don't get paid enough. So why the fuck do you care, bro? He's probably getting paid nothing. I mean, when I ask the dishwasher dude I work with how much he gets paid, I literally lied about how much I get paid <laughs> because I didn't want him to make a fuss. Because you <laughs> made was... more than him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> right off the bat and bro is like a par four which is like three years of cracker barrel it's how like much do you know how much he's making 1050 after three years yes i made 1230 when i started how do you make 12 1050 anywhere after three years what the fuck <laughs> i don't know there's a way like to get um races on the app like there's a cracker bro app where every couple months when you go up a par or whatever they'll send you a quiz to do and shit and like a couple of videos to watch and you do them you will get a raise like hey, well you, you know, know how else you can get a new raise get a new fucking job <laughs> sure. fuck that he just he just nah he's really like the way i describe this guy is he's a great example of what your mom and dad talk about when it's like oh you're gonna have to deal with people in the real world you know that are not not loving or kind he's one of those people he just doesn't care he really doesn't care he wants to make the minimum he or no no he wants to work as little as possible and just make enough to survive like he doesn't want to put in the effort he go he just smokes a pack a day definitely because they'll go in the (laughs) bathroom and i'll just be like yep i smoke and I also took a shit. I'm like, okay. <laughs> good, good stuff, dude. Fucking stupid. I kind of get when people want to put in the minimum because you're trying to be happy, so you're trying not to work all the time. But if you're not even fucking happy, if you're making the minimum minimum, you and are working eight hours a day, that is working like all the time. Yeah. If you're working almost That's every day, you know. Stupid. But he's just trying to yeah. do the minimum at work, but not work the minimum. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. Oh, dude. Yeah, he's he doesn't give a fuck about you know like doing a lot of work which i i don't blame anybody for no you know? i mean it's but shitty it's just i guess for dishwasher it's a little different though bro like come on you gotta try a little bit you know how hard it is to close that bitch when there's like <laughs> just god it is just so fucking awful and all that shit piles up at the end yes oh, yeah it's a little rough get out of it you know like fucking 11 30 <laughs> Yeah, well, nah, I don't get out at eleven thirty. I'm good. You're good. <laughs> Fuck getting out at eleven thirty. <laughs> the ass. I think the latest I'll have to work is like eight. I think 
They don't, because uh, since I'm in Delhi, it really doesn't fucking, I think our Delhi shuts at like seven or eight. So once that closes, I can just clean up and leave. Yeah. You like the Delhi so far? Oh uh, yeah, I'm pretty good at it because I've cooked before, so it's uh, I can do it really fast. And since I can do it fast, I get a lot of free time. So, and since I'm in the kitchen, the department leader said it'd be fine if I put in an earbud because there's no customers I'd have to deal with. So all good there. Nice. Yeah. Um, I've dude, I I've not worn my hat in Cracker Barrel, and I've had an earbud in forever they don't say anything to me i've never been called on before dude and i just figured out like the training manager there didn't just leave like she got fired bro oh. she got fired for stealing oh. and i was like i was like damn she well i'm actually glad it happened because when i was talking about a co-worker yesterday and they were like yeah, she's a bitch, you know. She always was like, "No, don't don't take biscuits or cornbread. You can only have drinks." You know, she's one of those piss ass managers. Yeah. That's annoying, but yeah, some people good to get out of your hair. Uh, everyone at the deli's chill, so I don't really have anything like that. But I'm assuming there's some fucko whack jobs at the Krog. You probably just don't work with them. Yeah. Thank, thank God they're not on your shift, you know. Yeah. Well, no. In there's only like four deli cooks, so <laughs> there's some fucking wackos, you know that I, I don't see, but I know they're there. Bro. Well, the guy who trained me is kind of a wacko. He's like a drug addict, not anymore, but was. <laughs> yeah, he's been like four years sober. He still goes to like um, NAs and AAs. Um, yeah, he did a lot of shit. In a, uh, what is it? Um, narc. What the, what the fuck is it? What do you call like LSD? It's a narcotic. Narcotics Anonymous. Mm. So like you know, not just alcohol, some other fuck shit. Um, so yeah, there's there's some characters, but he's he's really chill. He he calls me a retard sometimes, like unironically, and he'll be like. <laughs> Uh, did you, did you struggle with puzzles as a kid, you know? Get put in any special classes? <laughs> I'm like, fuck, man. <laughs> all, I, all I did was to fucking forget to put the fries down. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you, like, forget, you, you, like, forget a whole fucking, like, day of, like, cooking the chicken, bro. And bro's like, did you, uh... No, it's like, never something ever make major. A mistake? Your mom make a bunch of mistakes. She drink a lot. Teen years. Did she... Your mom was probably definitely drug addict. <laughs> Just, nah, like, assuming I mean... a bunch of shit about you. <laughs> it's never, like, <laughs> over something major. It's always minute as fuck. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, so Just which like, container does it go to? And he's like, fridge door. I told you yesterday, <laughs> dumbass. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, you're a dumbass. How do you not remember shit? <laughs> It's like day two and he's already insulting me. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> in the bed. But no, nah, he's really chill and I like him a lot. He's based. It's weird. I always get put with like, I guess people can just read that I don't give a fuck because they always put me with the chillest people, man. I swear. <laughs> they can just read that I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they have to be able to. Because you could not put somebody that's like my age in there that's a little sensitive even a little because he doesn't give a fuck <laughs> you sure he really cares about where shit goes sounds like. <laughs> no no that's what i'm saying he doesn't give a fuck about organized. how you feel <laughs> you ever been yelled at for leaving the freezer door open anywhere uh no this one beeps really fucking loud so you can kind of figure out real quick if it's open Nah, it's just like um when i was at the uh fucking cracker barrel i guess one manager didn't realize that the freezer was being cleaned out or i was cleaning it out <laughs> uh when i say cleaning it out i mean they wanted me to fucking literally chip at ice like they break all the ice off so jesus yeah. man because it was on the floor and everything but she just came in there and was like what are you doing you know you 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 leaving the freezer door open so stuff is melting i'm like bro go ask the other manager you literally told me to do this i don't know what you're on Huh? Goofy managers. Uh, yeah, fuck. Um, there's there's a few goofy ones I work with, but there's one, there's one that's actually pretty cool. It's 
Okay, it's actually the worst because this is the one that smells like shit. But he's he is chill. Like he's chill. He'll let me do whatever I want. Yeah. Yeah. He smells bad. <laughs> oh. But he's chill. But he's bro. Chill. I actually told uh, the kid I was talking to yesterday um, that like I was like, "Yo, go check out the podcast. You know, tell tell your friends about it." And I got him to rate it five stars on Spotify. And uh, fucking, I guess if he's if he's listening to it right now, he'll know what I'm talking about, bro. Uh, that guy, he doesn't smell very good, but he is pretty chill. Jeez, man. Yeah, smells at work are the worst. Yeah. Because, like, I'm already cool. in this shithole and it smells. <laughs> sure. That's always the worst when motherfuckers can't even put it on deodorant. <laughs> they have decency to put it on anything. Yeah, for like, real. How are you going to smell like shit? How are you going to not shower? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Some people, like, they have to know they need a shower. Because I don't shower before work because I cook. I go get gross, so I shower after. But I don't smell like shit because I wear deodorant every day. Yeah. I can throw yeah, cologne on if I need to. You don't need to shower before you go in the fucking kitchen. Just wear deodorant know. the day before and the morning and you're fine. It's fucking stupid. I don't understand. Um. Oh, I just I probably want to bring up one quick thing before we wrap. Um, They've been doing like early cyberpunk playthroughs of the new expansion coming out. Apparently people are hyping it up. People who've played it this time, not just uh, randos on Reddit going, oh, this is the greatest game, Keanu, and whoa, Square, or whatever the fuck we made it. I don't even remember. What's, like, the story supposed to be about? Is it, like, going to continue? Uh, It's on, supposed to be in a whole new game? setting. Um, I don't know, because the ending of Cyberpunk leaves that open to there being a second or this expansion. Obviously, I don't want to spoil it because you're playing it the best you can right now. <laughs> it says it'll actually change the base game a lot. Yeah, it's going to a whole new city. And a lot yeah. of people have been saying it's kind of starting to seem like a better game than what originally, kind of what they, not what they promised originally, which was all bullshit, but better than the original, definitely. A lot more interaction, I hope, and hopefully better world building. I mean, that shit is bad. Cyberpunk world building right now, it's pretty shit. It is. It's such a cool fucking idea of a world, too. And it's just such a shame that, like, so far the story doesn't have me hooked at all, really. Just Well, I, I think the story gets me hooked from the characters, but when you're just driving around in the city, everything's just so shit. The cars all kind of feel the same, except, like, three. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you mean, like, that? I mean, just like, think of it, compared to fucking GTA, like, the open world is shit compared to GTA. Okay, but GTA's open world is also kind of shit. Like, if you want to, I don't know, GTA is a really weird thing to talk about. It's on so many generations of consoles, it's on PC. Yeah, but it came out in 2013, 10 years ago, and this is fucking cyberpunk. Came out, what, 2020, 2021, whatever? You, and the world is shit go, compared go to most of the buildings in mm, Cyberpunk. Nope. And I mean, that's like the biggest complaint for the open world GTA Five is like there is no <sighs> open. Okay, like, but there's no fucking buildings to really go into, so the open world just feels. Empty. Hear me out though. In GTA, you know, there's all these different cars, there's motorcycles, there's all this shit going on. In Cyberpunk, there's just cars and motorcycles, and they're. Like, could you even say some of those are fucking futuristic? It's 2077. And we have this fucking car that looks like okay, a goddamn th- sedan true. from the like, 90s. It looks like they, like, put more fucking metal on it. And when you drive it, it feels like it. they made cars worse. Yeah, they're like, so bad. They're heavier and, yeah. And there's no flying of any kind. I mean, I, I just don't think the world buildings are at. All. It's just in the characters that I like. I do enjoy that. It's a pretty good, uh, like representation for a shitty city, though. Yes, like a shitty ass <laughs> LA. Yeah, like GTA Five is not a good representation of LA because it's like 
this is not just genuinely not. Yeah, like it, it's a little. It does well map done. the roads. It maps LA pretty well and the roads pretty well too. But it, like when you're actually playing the game and you're looking around, you're like, nah. But yeah, because you can you can cut across like everywhere. And that like Cyberpunk, you, have you to play go fucking the Cyberpunk. Yeah, you play Cyberpunk and you're like, this is probably how New York City looks at night in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. You know. So. Yeah, some things they hit, but I just can't help feeling like the world and the the setting just isn't there. It's just kind of lame, and cybernetics is kind of I don't I don't know why we're going on this fucking that's a whole episode coming eventually, <laughs> but yeah, we're uh, I'm working on cyberpunk right now. I'm gonna try to just fucking. I think I know what you mean. The start's time. a little slow, but I do think once the story picks up, you're just not there yet. Once you meet the, yeah, the boss man. G with the gold chains, then you're in. They're wanting, yeah, they're wanting me to like do all the fucking uh, tutorials, and you know when we were having the debate last night about papers, please, and the fucking cyberpunk, like the surveillance is so goddamn annoying. It is so stupid. They're such a cool idea, but it's just not done well. Yeah. It takes so fucking long to get that section done. It's like, I don't care like about watching this to uh, wait for them to pull something out that I have to scan or something or pull out a gun I got to scan. It's like, can we... I wish there was like a speed up button for those sections in the game. There really should be. Definitely. But we get that new DLC September 26th, so it'd be nice if you could get that shit done in like a month. We can play that and then play the DLC. That'd be kind of cool, I think. You know, get the episode out for the DLC. So we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. I hope it's good. <laughs> I think it's like forty dollars too. It's not the full price of the game, which is eh, wow. a little annoying. That but... is that is a lot though, man. That's yeah, forty dollars for a fucking DLC. <sighs> No kidding. Oh, it's 30. It's $30. But if it does overhaul the game like people are claiming and they're probably going to claim then, you know, 40 bucks or 30 bucks for that. It's not bad. Yeah. I I I'm going to definitely get it when it comes out. Mm -hmm. You know. They'll probably put a Cyberpunk on sale too one more time before it comes out. Yeah, they've been having it 58% off though for a while, so I don't know if they'll go any lower. They're gonna take the fucking Activision approach and never put their games even when they're ten plus years old low. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Did you have anything else? No, I didn't really have anything else. I just uh I'm just running blank right now. Okay. Well, I'll probably work on this episode after work tomorrow, so probably gonna come out on the eleventh. But yeah. Appreciate y'all. Have a good week. All right, see you guys.